Welcome back to Wasteland 2. Before we continue to explore Hypool, let's go ahead and level up Theodore. He leveled up near the end of the last episode, but I didn't notice it until after I finished recording. So he's got four skill points. I don't want to focus too much on his assault rifle skill. I think at level four of this skill, he's a decent shot. You know, good enough to be at least helpful in combat. And the main point of him is not to be good at combat, so I'm going to stop focusing on his assault rifle skill at this point, and I'm going to start focusing on other stuff. So I know that Vulture's Cry... Vulture... Vulture's Cry's chance of um, going rogue is 20%, which is way too high. Now, I don't actually intend to keep her for very long, because her skills are not very complementary to my group, but nonetheless, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade my leadership skill, which should improve that by 5%, I believe. Is it 5%? Yeah. It reduces the chance to go rogue by 5%. Then I'm also going to increase the kiss-ass skill, and that should be good. And why the hell is bladed weapons here? It, that is all jacked up. There we go. Fixed itself. Oh, it can actually collapse these. Neat. Anyway, so that should reduce our chance to go rogue to 15%, yes. Which means if I had nobody here with a leadership skill at all... Like, I mean, right now, the chance to go rogue is reduced by 15%. So if I had none of this, then her chance to go rogue would actually be 30%. And I'm pretty sure the chance to go rogue is actually per turn, isn't it? Like, if you tell her to do something, there's this percent chance that she won't do it and will do something else. I think. So, yeah, if you don't have anybody with a leadership skill, it's going to be really hard to make your extra party members actually do what you want them to do. Alright, let's keep exploring. Oh yeah, I also noticed in the quests, by the way, there's a help a dog find her owner. We used our animal handling skills to calm the lost dog. She's now following us. Apparently, maybe she belongs to someone in town. I, I guess I was talking about Garoof? Like, I don't remember that coming up, but uh, I guess. A sign above the door here used to read Cistern. It has now been crossed out and reads Irrigation. Oh, that goes to the tunnels? Hmm. Let's look around everywhere else first. Looks like a nice place to dine al fresco? I don't know what that means. This probably has a bomb in it. Nope, it doesn't. The Ballad of Bobby and Rex. That's the dog and the boy that the ranger supposedly shot. Hmm. Strange. Probably a bit of backstory, I guess. It's an actual song, isn't it? Hold on. Adam Duchin said, here Garoof co- Oh, wait, wait, hold on. I think we just found the owner. Is it you? Oh, hey, Rangers. Thanks for saving us from those marauding wrecking crew jerks, I guess. Uh, you guess? You don't seem very enthusiastic. Also, that is a really cool suit you got on there. Look at that. Badass mofo. Although, weirdly enough, he's wearing something completely different. He's basically wearing rags in real life, but... Eh, looks cool in his avatar. Oh, sorry. I'm just kind of sad. And all the commotion. My dog ran away. She must be somewhere in town, but I've looked everywhere and I can't find her. She's my best friend. Oh, well, I can help you with that. Uh... Oh, I guess we have to... Okay, we'll go through the whole song and dance. Tell me about your dog. Does it go woof? And does it look like it escaped out of Resident Evil? She's the best. Every evening, she greets me when I come home from tending the crops below the dam. She hops up on her back legs and bounces around, and she has the funniest bark. Groof. So distinctive, it became her name. My, mo my mom called her Lucinda when she was a puppy, but that never really fit. Groof is just much more appropriate. Okay, uh, how, how do I give you Garouf? Because, like, she's right here. 
Can we do anything to help? Yes, yes, I would help. Oh, Theodore Flint has re received Chew Toy. You could use that to settle her down if she's temperamental. Oh, so I guess maybe if even if you don't have the the animal whisperer skill, you can use the chew toy to specifically get Garoof. What happened during the attacks? A mortar shell landed just outside her house and she panicked. I think she's just scared out of her wits. I've only seen her like that once before, when a water main blew. The only thing that calmed her down was her busy bee chew toy. It's her favorite. I just know we'll find her. Y yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure we'll find her too. <laughs> there we go. I just had to go, go a little bit closer. I always heard you were dog killers, but it turns out you're dog helpers. Yeah, see? We're not so bad. So, does that mean I still have the chew toy? <laughs> I do. Use on self. Theodore Flint is using a chew toy on Theodore Flint. It said nothing. What happened, Theodore? I guess he doesn't want to talk about it. Looks like Angela's leveled up. Copy, Echo One. Blah, blah, thank you very much. Five skill points, alright. So I'm not doing weaponsmithing because that is going to be Helen's thing. Outdoorsman skill doesn't really matter. Assault rifle, she's already amazing at it. No, oh, can't upgrade it anyway. Mmm. Let's go with hard ass. This is another entrance into the. The tunnels? A large... A, a large study building. I think that's supposed to say sturdy. A large sturdy building with town hall written over the door. Oh, okay. Town hall. <laughs> Nobody's in this tower. No need. The wreckers never got this far. And we're back here. Alright, let's go into the town hall. See if anybody's holding a meeting so we can participate in the democratic process. Welcome to Alder's Dry Goods, friends. If you don't see it, ask. I got most anything you need. Along the right wall of the main room, a store has been set up. A few swap meat tables piled high with junk. An ancient fridge and some bulkier items against the wall. Hanging over it is a hand-painted sign that reads, Alder's Dry Goods, Highpool's Lowest Prices. In the middle of it all, a man sits in a lawn chair, swatting at flies with a fly swatter. He seems utterly unconcerned with the damage his town has suffered. I like that. Highpool's Lowest Prices. G get it? High? Low? Ha. Good. It's a good one. This big contraption is a patchwork machine. You recognize a pump? You recognize a pump. Lime-crusted pipes go under the floor. You deduce that this is a water purification device. It looks broken. The gaping hole beside the pump leads you to think it could be fixed with a new engine. Is that another thing that needs a mechanical skill? Man, I almost wish I went mechanical. Well, how you doing? A small man with sharp eyes and soft hands. He flicks a fly away with his swatter, then gazes deeply into your wallet. <laughs> Howdy, folks. What can I do for you? I got guns, ammo, armor, medical supplies, and smokes. I'll also take almost anything you got in trade. Snake squeezins, scrap metal, broken weapons, odds and ends. Oh, heard you got that prisoner out of lockup. I thought for sure we'd have a hanging after Bergen arrested her in there. Or, arrested her in here. Oh, yeah. If she was arrested in here, do you still have the gear she was carrying? Yeah, I would like her gear back. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I guess I do. I was gonna add it to my stock. Figure it's commission on the trouble she caused. Well, what does this take? 
hard ass. All right, let's do it. That gear doesn't belong to you. Hand it over before we take a cut of your inventory. All right, all right. No need to get hostile. You rangers really haven't changed. Here's the gear. Oh, thank God I have some sniper ammo. Looks like 20 shots. And, oh, another unusual bow. Pet rock. Um. Cool. I have a pet rock. I wonder what its name is. Whatever it is, it's probably hard to pronounce. You get it? Because the stone is, is hard. Never mind. What's the big pump behind us? Ah, that old thing. Story goes that the rangers actually fixed it up for us a decade and a half back. Not sure I believe that, but it broke down for good about a year ago. It runs, but it just spews the most foul cloud of black you ever smelled. Now I'm stripping it for parts. I already got the engine pulled out. The bit should be worth a pretty penny. Wait, so you'd buy snake squeezins? Which I'm pretty sure is like moonshine or something. Yep. I usually buy from a traveling salesman from Rail Nomad. Oh, you don't say! The same traveling salesman that spotted um, Ace, right? I know I need to talk to him because of Ace. Uh, but he was a little short on stock the last time he came through, so I could use some more. Alright, who was this traveling salesman? His name's Sammy Hayes? I'm gonna go with Hayes. From Rail Nomad. Makes a regular circuit through the wastes, selling that sweet, sweet poison. Told me he was with Al, uh, he was with Ace when Ace was murdered. You know anything more about that? Sammy didn't say much more about it. Seemed spooked about the whole thing. You want to talk to him, you might find him in Rail Nomad. That's where he goes to resupply. Alright, what kind of smokes do you have? Got all brands. Choose your poison. But I got something special, too. Recently traded for a carton of genuine pre-apocalypse coffin nails. Best smokes money can buy. Even after 150 years, the preservatives keep that tobacco as fresh as the day it was picked. <laughs> Truly, the wonders of the ancients are miraculous. Wanna buy some? Sure. Alright, what do you got? Hmm. Goat hide armor. Five strength. Who has five strength? I know Yulia does. I, shit, she might be the only one with five strength, actually. I think she is. I think everybody... Yeah, I think everybody else has four. Yep. Hmm. Re reduces her combat speed. That's not good. Ooh. Okay, so Leather Jacket has some armor and does not reduce movement speed or take any strength at all. Probably worth buying. Although I don't... I mean, what does two armor actually do? I'm assuming that's just a straight deduction from the amount of damage that you take. Like, you know, normal hits will now do two less damage, I'm assuming. Old Navy Revolver. Already got one of those, right? I think so. Hmm. Looks like it doesn't compare it against her secondary weapon, just her main. And her secondary weapon doesn't show in here, so I guess... Eh. Oh, well. Oh, no, no, no. What? The pet rock is junk? I am not fucking selling the pet rock. No, 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 no. 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 It feels warm and content in your hand, as if it has found a good home at last. See, I'm not selling the pet rock. Is that why they flagged it as junk? It's like a super special item. And they want to make it so that if you just if you're careless and you you sell it, it's easy, it's easy to sell accidentally. So that only the most special of people, the most careful caregivers to this pet rock, will actually see it through to the end of the game. Or maybe it's just a stupid pet rock. I don't know. Don't care. I'm keeping it. How how do I put it back? Double click. I didn't sell it, did I? No. Okay. Double click it. Probably use some sniper ammo, but I just got a bunch. It should be fine for now. Short barrel. Ooh. Increases chance to hit lower range, so good for things like shotguns. <laughs> Except it's not even usable on shotguns, so... Yay. 
That's wonderful. Minus four meters maximum range. That's a lot. That's a big, big range decrease. It seems good on SMGs. Definitely not good on snipers. Probably not good on assault rifles. Hmm. Pistols? Hmm. Probably not good on pistols either. It's probably only good for SMGs in that case. Why doesn't that work on shotguns? You know, just be like a sawed-off shotgun, right? Short barrel? Huh. It's weird. I think I've already got coffin nails, don't I? Yeah, I've already got some. I don't need more. I think I might just buy this armor. I kind of want to go all or nothing, though. Like, I kind of want to buy everybody armor or nobody. Wait. Wait, these pants are literally called junk pants, and yet they're not considered junk? What? Is there some crafting use of these items that I don't understand? I'm just gonna sell them. Yeah, I've actually got to sell a lot of this crap. I'll keep, like, an extra pistol, I guess. <laughs> I don't need the gloves. Yeah, I've got a bunch of junk to sell. I'll keep the chew toy. Why not? Hobo Basher's a piece of crap. The rest of the stuff, eh... I don't know. I'll sort through sometime. I kind of want to keep the SMG just in case I come across somebody who can use it. Oh shit, that must be the sniper rifle for Vulture's Cry. Get rid of the rust bucket. Alright, that's a lot of stuff to sell and not a lot to receive, but I'll take it. And I guess I'll take the armor. 240 dollars for 30 sniper rounds that is freaking expensive Ugh. all right who is the weakest person because the weakest person is going to be the person who gets the armor probably Harper at the moment, but that's kind of just because he's level 4. As soon as he gets to level 5, he should be okay. But, uh, yeah, I'll give it to him. There you go. Alright, let's take a look at the stuff that we got. Who was it given to? I think it was all given, yeah, it was all given to Angela. <coughs> okay, so we have another unusual bow. I guess I'll give that to Vulture's Cry. All right, she's got the Akita figurine. Eh, whatever. I'll give that... It doesn't matter. I'm just gonna leave it there. It doesn't matter who that's with. Pet Rock should, of course, go with her, because it is her pet, after all. Mm, let's go ahead and give... 12 to her. Others to Helen. Now, let's take a look at this thing. If I'm not mistaken, this thing is a fucking beast. Let's see. Whew. Look at that damage. 24 to 32 compared to her current 17 to 21. Hit chance is the same. Critical chance is the same. Damage multiplier is the same. Slightly higher chance to jam. Slightly lower range and lower capacity. But higher armor penetration. So it's worse in some ways, but the damage is more than worth, worth enough to make up the difference. Alright, um, who has the best sniping skills? You got four, Vulture's Cry has three. Okay, yeah, so Helen, you're gonna get the good one. Let's look at that beautiful rifle. Oh yeah, I can barely see it, I wish I could zoom in, but it looks pretty, from what I can barely tell. Alright, got the best things equipped, got the good pistol on, old navy revolver. We are good to go.
Harold's got a lot of bodyguards. A small engine lies in the ground. Looks like it might fit into the pumping machine nearby. Well, there's no way I can repair that. Plus, wouldn't they kill me if I tried to take it? Let's try. Are they seriously not going to care if I take it? <laughs> can I pick it up and sell it to them? It's nine pounds. That thing is heavy. Uh, excuse me, can I try to repair it? No? Yeah, I'm not going to pick that up. Doctor! I don't suppose we could recruit you, can we? Hork. I'm sorry for your horking disease. She has a hacking disease. And he has a damn wrecker's disease. How's it going, Doc? A man with sandy blonde hair and a careworn smile tends to wounded high pool citizens in a makeshift trauma ward outside his office. Well, I got all the townsfolk patched up, but you look a little worse for wear. What can I help you with? You want me to patch you up? Oh, yeah, actually, Angela, I think, still has a concussion, doesn't she? Yeah. Sure. Well, she's lost concussion. For a second, I thought I said lost, lost consciousness. I was a little bit worried. And uh, apparently that didn't cost anything. I think I love you, Dr. Scott Warner. Alright, how can we help you? Well, I don't need any help. Not personally. Though, if you've got any skill with triage, I wouldn't say no to a helping hand. But the bigger concern is that those wreckers made a mess of our irrigation system. Don't know if you're handy with that kind of thing, but Kate Preston could sure use a hand down in the cistern. Alright, tell me about the irrigation system. Works like a charm when somebody hasn't blown it up. Store the water, use the pressure of the drop to bring water to the crops, but those wreckers have gummed up the work something awful. What do you think of Kate Preston? Well, she's not so good with plumbing, but she'd make a better mayor than Bergen. Wouldn't rely so much on the boot and the stick, if you know what I mean. Yeah, Bergen does seem to be a bit of a dick. Bit of a bag of dicks. How do you feel about Bergen, the bag of dicks? I think he's a good man at heart, but the world has treated him harshly, and he's returning the favor. Just fine as a second in command, but he's too angry to be an effective leader. So, how did the mayor die? Didn't, yeah, didn't the mayor die from the from the wreckers? The wreckers, rather? I think I said records. Yep, wreckers shot him right through the neck. Then he fell from the walls. I tried to save him, but he was too far gone. There was nothing I could do. <laughs> what do you think about the wrecking crew? What do you think about the people that ruined everything and murdered a bunch of your people? Why everybody thinks they can kill their way to a good life, I don't know. Growing things, having kids, healing the world. That's the only way. Alright. So, you said you could do some help with triage, huh? Can I... Use my skill? Oh, shit, I actually can. 62% chance to succeed. Is there a chance to critical fail? Because if there is, well... Let's just see what happens. <laughs> Theodore Flint is using surgeon on woman. Surgerize that woman. Oh. Oh, there we go. Nicely done, Rangers. Keep that up, and the town might start thinking more highly of you. All right, come on, Theodore. Our the perception of us in the public eye is dependent on your skills here. I gotta say, Doc, if I can fix these people up in about five seconds, then you must really suck at this. <laughs> Do 
that's an incredibly eloquent thing for a once a dying man to say. Your tender ministrations have renewed my flagging constitution. Well, alrighty then, man. Alright, two more to go. Feel free to play doctor on me anytime. Uh, okay. Sorry for getting pus on you. Ew. Ew. Also, if you compare the scale of this light bulb compared to the scale of everything else in this room, this light bulb is actually bigger than these characters' heads. That's a big ass light bulb. My god. Alright, everybody good? Everyone's good. Mm hmm. All my patients are sleeping sound and looking forward to a brighter day. Hip O crates. Would be proud. Anyway, I know that's not how you pronounce it. Although I actually kind of forgot how to pronounce his name. How do you, how do you pronounce that? I'm going to go with Hippocrates because it sounds hilarious. You look like you've been living well and staying low when the bullets fly. Doesn't look like you need me to patch you up. What can I help you with? Well, apparently nothing. Alright. It's okay, it increases our public perception and gave me a little bit of XP. I don't need monetary rewards for everything. Just most things. Hmm, what about this box? Wait, what? Whoa, if the packaging on this gadget is to be believed, this thing will scramble an egg inside the shell. What? It's a box. What the fuck are you talking about? It doesn't say anything. There is no packaging. I do believe it's time to head into the tunnels. Okay, what about Laddie? Can we make Laddie come with us? No? I guess Laddie's purpose was just to, uh, give us the, the rock to deliver to Alexi. Let's go. Into the tunnels. Now I'm thinking there's got to be something to fight here, right? There's got to be so. Oh god, this looks complicated. There's got to be something. But what is it? Because it can't be the wrecking crew, right? Because we defeated them. So would it be the robots that we saw? An attractive young woman in maintenance overalls. Though thoroughly panicked at the moment. Sweet, uh, sweet. Sweat plasters her hair to her forehead, and her hands shake with the fear. It... It's hopeless. I can't fix it in time. We're ruined. You'll be fine. Don't worry. I'm here. I fix everything. Who's there? Wreckers. Please don't kill. Oh, Rangers. You're here. Finally, some good news. I knew you'd show up. I knew Bergen was wrong about you. And you must have chased off those wreckers or you wouldn't be down here. Well, that's Crisis 1 solved anyway. Only Crisis 2 and Crisis 3 to go. Tell me about your crises. Well, first, how do you feel about the Desert Rangers? Please, answer the survey. No time for questions or answering with voice-acted lines. We'll talk once I fix the system. What do you think of Bergen? Oh, I know the answer to this one. Bergen's good at his job, but I don't think he'd make a good mayor. He's got no diplomacy. People kinda hate him as soon as they meet him. And he's so twisted up about the rangers that he wants us to start asking the Red Scorpions for protection instead. I can't let that happen. Those guys are gangsters, plain and simple. Hmm. 
That's actually surprisingly even-tempered. Given how much uh, Bergen hates her, I thought she would completely hate him. Alright, what's Crises do? So the rest of the Wrecking Crew, they're like weeds. If you don't tear them out by the roots, they'll come back stronger than ever. I've been asking Ranger Citadel for months to find their camp and get rid of them, and nothing ever gets done. If you want us to keep sending you water, you gotta get these guys off our back. Permanently. But that'll have to wait until Crisis 3 is sorted out. Yeah, let's deal with the problem here. So, 3. Crisis 3 is right here and right now. I should be up top at the moment, trying to convince everybody to make me the new mayor. But our irrigation system is about to blow sky high. Voting's gotta wait, otherwise Hypool is, is going straight down into the drain. Some damn wreckers lopped a bomb over the wall that shook up our irrigation system and busted the pressure regulator. It also shorted out half our electrical system, and we've only got enough juice to keep a few lights on at a time. Killed the radio, too. I'm using the backup system to let off some of the pressure, but it's building too fast. If something isn't done very soon, we'll lose all of our water and our topsoil in one big bang. Are you here to help? Oh my, seems you have a lot to talk about. Of course I am. What do you need us to do? First, I need you to head into the complex. Look for four release valves and open them so the water can flow. Then all you have to do is come back here and open the bypass valve over there on the other side of the room. That will stabilize the pressure in the system and return things to normal. Got it? Good. Also, one of your crew will have to stay back here at the circuit breaker and turn on and off lights as you go. Take a look at the control panel on the wall. It'll show you which rooms are receiving water and power. I'm afraid we have emergency airlocks that close shut when the power is out, so you won't even be able to get into the rooms without power. Oh, that's clever. A little bit of sort of puzzle solving to adapt to the situation. Gotta leave behind one of our crew to do it. It's actually really cool. Well, I know exactly who I'm leaving behind. <clears throat> Topsoil? When the water drains from the reservoir, it's gonna find it's gonna flood our fields and take all of our topsoil with it. Those wreckers already burned our current crop to the ground. If we lose the soil too, we won't be able to grow our own food for years. And what about the water? If the system blows, all the water will drain out of our reservoir at once. We'll be dry for months. The whole region will go thirsty. Alright, what's wrong with the lights? I think I already kinda know the electrical system's messed up. If we turn on too many lights at one time, the whole electrical system will shut down and I won't be able to control the pressure at all. It'll blow in seconds. Okay. Looking to use your radio, how can we fix that? Not that that's a uh, pressing issue at the moment, but let's talk about it. Oh, right. Mayor Vickstrom said you were coming to use the tower for some kind of experiment. He's not here anymore, but I suppose it's okay. However, the breaker flipped during a short and cut off power to the radio. Thank God I was smart enough to place that on a different generator than our lights. So I'll... So it'll have enough juice for you. But someone needs to reset the breaker and flip the power back onto the radio. Pretty low priority on my list right now, but it's located in Section 6 in the middle of the complex. Okay. What happened to the mayor? I already know. Anything new? Got killed on the walls? Yep. Alright. So you're gonna vote now? Well, as soon as things settle down. Alright. Yep. Wouldn't do the trouble to wrecking crew start. Whoa, no more time for questions. Okay, fine. Ooh, boxes. Let's see if this one blows up. Let's see if this one blows up. Ooh, sniper. Alright, so that controls the power to all these thingies. What is this one? Industrial grade circuit breaker. This box can reset the whole grid and the tunnels. All the lights go out and the switches all deactivate. It'll automatically flip if the system draws too much power. Oh, okay. So we can only have one online at one time, right? Or two? Or not? Okay, we can have three. Uh... 
it, it, everything's good. Okay, everything's good. Alright, so we're going to be heading into either one or two. There we go, they opened up. Cool, cool. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, let's leave her behind. <clears throat> I guess that means I can never switch to moving everybody as a group. Because then she will come with us. Just gotta select everybody here. The look of this place does not inspire poetry. Alright, so number six is where the thing I'm interested in is. For the radio tower. Alright, I'm sure we'll make our way across there. In the meantime, I guess I'll just, well, start exploring. There's gotta be something to shoot in here. I mean, just, there's no way I'm not gonna face resistance, you know? Oh, yeah. I thought so. Of course, giant fucking cockroaches. Alright, well I don't I don't think I need to plan too tactically for this one. In fact, let's just Let's use like melee weapons and pistols. I don't need to waste good ammo on a freaking cockroach. <laughs> nice one, Harper. Lucky miss. Let's try my old navy revolver. Hmm. You might hit Theodore. Let's see. You didn't hit anything. There you go. These things actually have a surprising amount of health. Hmm. How much ammo, like, how much assault ammo do I have? 37. 40. Okay, actually I actually have a lot. But... I mean, there is a doctor here. Eh, screw it. I'm gonna save my ammo. You got no choice. These things actually do have a surprising amount of health. They probably don't do much damage, though. I guess we're about to see. Shotgun ammo. Eh, I don't have an amazing amount of it. Oh well. Lucky crit. Oh my. Yeah, okay, I'm not saving my ammo anymore. Harper! Oh, wow. Died from bleeding, I think. God, your chance to hit is really shitty. Oh, nearby enemies are interfering with the aiming. Minus 20% hit chance. Well, that might be why. Why Why is she in combat? Uh, no. Oh, for the love of God, come on. Thank you. Okay, I'll, I'll kind of conserve my ammo, I suppose. So we can put this one down. Uh, nope. Alright, <laughs> look at that. Looks like they're about to battle each other. You dare encroach upon my territory? Huh, <laughs> encroach. I want to kill this one, but... I can't resist the urge to do this. Boom. Power of the shotgun. Ten damage? Holy shit! That's a lot of damage. She only has 60 hit points. I'm gonna bash you into the ground, you little fucker. Actually, you're not little at all. That's kind of the problem.
lost. Oh, great. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, I'm definitely not gonna use sniper ammo on these things. Oh, for the love of God. Kill it. Thank you. You really just missed. You missed a gigantic cockroach that is literally less than a foot away from the barrel of your gun. Okay. And now I can't shoot. Man, you better go back to basic training. I know, right, Angela? That was way harder than it should have been. They're just cockroaches. Looks like we gotta level up. Yay, legs. Antenna. And more legs. Copy, Echo One. Echo One, congratulate. Okay. Oh, is that two levels up? Yeah, Harper got leveled up too, I think. Not just Yulia. All right, see what we got here. <clears throat> All right. Hmm, I really need to upgrade your lockpicking skill, I think. Yeah, let's do one of each. Yulia. Your skill to shotgun is perfectly flat, fine. Let's go demolition. Okay. Do I need to heal anybody? Uh, I'll wait on Helen. I don't think we're going to face anything extremely hard. Probably just more cockroaches. Hello. Alright, don't think that's a computer science safe. Nope. Oh, there's a trap. Only a very, very simple trap, evidently. Basic trauma kit. Wow, this one's actually really tough. I mean, I just upgraded her demolition skill and it's still quite hard. Let's get everybody else out of here. Just in case it blows. That's it? That's all that was in it? I suppose that's very ironic, isn't it? Because there's probably quite a few people that opened this without disabling the trap, got blown up, and then found a medkit inside of it, which they then used to heal the fact that they just got blown up by the trap opening the thing that had the medkit in it. Irony! All right, heading on to number three. The smell of mold and mildew in here is so thick you find it hard to breathe. All the junk on the floor is rotting away before your eyes. Still, there might be something of value in there. You never know.
All these boxes read, Betamax, the entertainment technology of the future. <laughs> yeah, right. A pre-war cellular phone in pristine condition. How in the world did they manage to shrink a phone to the size of a brick? <laughs> box full of little black oblongs with buttons all over them. Ancient words of power are printed on the buttons. F, 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 rewind, play, mute. Damn it, none of these can be opened with computer science. I know they exist, I've already opened one with computer science before. I don't know if I've done it in this playthrough, but I know I've done it before. Here's number six. Number six or number two. So right here. Let's go around the right side. We'll loop around to number six. Yeah, let's kind of loop around the outside. Let's go to number four. Oh, whoops. Oh, shit. Did I just send one of my crew members back? I just clicked on that. No! Stay. Again. Where the fuck are you bastards? We're dying here! Kathy, this is General Vargas. Now, uh, keep cool and listen. The only team I have near you is already answering an emergency call at Highpool, but I put out a general call for assistance in your area. Now, hopefully, some citizen. Are you fucking kidding me? You picked those rain collectors over us? Have fun starving to death, assholes! Don't you understand what we're going through here? We've fallen back to the lobby, but we've got fruit flies as big as bulldogs dive-bombing us everywhere we go. And Matt Forrestal took some kind of exploding sea pod full in the face. He's a goddamn wreck! Kathy, please, just hold on. We're doing the best. Fuck you, Vargas. We don't need your goddamn sweet talk. We need help. Hey, Rangers, this is Kate in the water control room. The board just lit up with new water flow, so I'm guessing you got a valve open. Great work. There's only three more in the complex, so you're 25% of the way there already. Excellent. Sorry, Ag Center, but you're all probably gonna die. Somebody's made a little fort out of matchsticks amidst the bottles. They must have been very bored. Wanted poster. Let's read that wanted poster. 1,000 scrap reward for the apprehension of the angry red clown. Dead or alive. Okay. I'm assuming, I mean, given the level of detail in this game, I'm assuming that you actually can find those people. You probably can. Kathy Lawson, can you hear me? Go ahead, Kathy. I'm reading you loud and clear. Please, Vargas. I'm sorry I shouted at you. Please, send somebody. Matt is dying, and there's there's no more ammo, and I... I, I... <laughs> hey, it's got nothing to do with you shouting, Kathy. There, there's just nobody to send. My crew are dealing with the crisis in Highpool as quick as they can. If you can just hold on a little while longer... How long is a little while? Shit! They're coming in again! Shoot them! Kathy? Kathy, are you there? Ranger Citadel calling Ag Center. Do you read me? Ag Center, come in! 
That's actually really sad. I like that they're really driving home that the decision of where to go really has an effect on the people in the wastes. Ooh, sniper ammo. Goes to number eight. Do, do, do. Oh, this is the other side of this place that I tried to go through, but couldn't. Yep, there's a rope. The robot. I think I can do a third one, right? So let's just do number 10 right now. Yeah. Hello? If only I could sneak up on them and shoot them both, like... Like this! Although she missed the other one. Do I really want to use her sniper we weapon for these cockroaches? They do a surprising amount of damage, but they're still not that big of a deal. No, I'm just... Let's move her over here and put her on... Overwatch. Which is technically not Overwatch, but whatever, it's Overwatch. Missed the one in the back again. And nice. Old Naver Revolver doing his job. Beautiful little weapon, that. Uh. But, oh, right. Skip your turn. I was confused for a second. Let's go bash you to death. Ooh, Helen leveled up. More legs, wonderful, exciting loot. Copy, Echo. Echo, congratulations, Echo. Two points. Hmm. I'm not gonna keep upgrading handguns. Not yet. So do I want to save for sniper rifles or do weapons? But hmm. I want to do weapon smithing. I want to get somebody to three weapon smithing. Because there's something I wanted to install on her weapon. Is it a scope? Yeah, this one that requires three weapon smithing. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, right, I guess I have to... Do this? I mean, it already has a scope on it, which is kind of weird. Why, why am I putting a scope on a weapon that has a scope? But whatever. There we go. 33 meter range. That's a pile of shit. Pig shit, to be precise. <laughs> if it weren't for the medical symbols, this would look like the kind of cooler you take to the beach.
Okay, where's the other place I opened up? I think it's, yeah, up here. Number 10. Little boxies trying to hide from me. Another wanted poster. God, I've got so many of these medic packs. Seriously, how many of them do I have at this point? 25. And some pig shit. Alright, where's the other wanted poster? That's Angry Red Clown. Who got the other one? This one is also for the Angry Red Clown. Alright. People are very angry at the Angry Red Clown. Signs in the tanks read Auxiliary Overflow Tank. Tanks. Last maintenance check was in 1998. Oh, shit, this one's missing the handle, isn't it? <laughs> the pressure is oscillating wildly in Section 10. The only other time I've seen something like this, the valve was completely rusted through. If that's what's going on, you'll have to find a replacement to install. If you haven't got one already, you might want to check the storage area near Section 2. Alright, gotcha. Alright, well this episode is approaching on an hour. It's encroaching on an hour, so I suppose I'm gonna end it here. Otherwise, I, I mean, I could keep playing this game for so long. I mean, I usually aim for like 30 minutes, uh, 30 minute episodes, but as you can tell, these typically end up more like an hour. So if I keep playing, it's gonna be like two hours and then three hours, so I should probably just stop. Okay, so where have I been? I went to one, three, I didn't go over to two. No, I kept going around the outside. So one, three, four, seven, eight, ten. Ten is where I need to install the valve. So I need to go around here. Around number two is apparently where the valve is. Apparently there's some storage place around there. And then number six has the stuff for the radio tower. So I just need to check these four out. And did I see where this goes? Was it the place that goes to the place where the robot is? I mean, these look like these lead somewhere. I must have checked them already. Well, anyway. So, I hope you have enjoyed so far, and when we return, we will check out the rest of these places here, deal with the radio thing, turn on all the other, blah, 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 turn on all the other valves, and everybody will be happy, except for the people at the Ag Center, because they're all dead. <laughs>